Let's do practice problem two from lesson seven. We see that firms are in long run equilibrium. And you know what? I always like to draw a picture. That really helps me out to proceed with solving the problem. So let's draw a graph of our firm. And so we have P and Q on our axes like normal. And I know that in long run equilibrium, I'll have some kind of marginal cost curve although in this case I know this problem it says MC equals 2Q so I'm just going to draw that this MC equals 2Q and then I'll have an ATC curve and I know the ATC is going to intersect MC at its minimum point so it's going to start over here and ATC will fall 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 once it hits marginal cost it will go up 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 so that's ATC now what is ATC we have the cost function total cost this says C I would like it to say TC equals 25 plus Q squared. So if total cost equals 25 plus Q squared. ATC is just total cost divided by quantity. So we know also that we will be producing at that intersection MC equals ATC. So we can just set 2Q, that's MC, equal to 25 plus Q squared over Q and that's our ATC. Now this is just an equation. We can multiply both sides by Q. Then we get 2Q squared equals 25 plus Q squared. Now just we want to solve for Q, so get all the Q's on one side of the equation. Minus Q squared, minus Q squared. So now 2Q squared minus Q squared equals just Q squared is 25. So Q equals 5. Take the square root of both sides. Now I know that this quantity right here is 5. And I want to find what is the price. We know that these firms are going to face a horizontal demand curve and it will have this three-way intersection right here. This is their demand curve. It's also equal to their marginal revenue curve. It's also equal to the market price. Oh, I just said market price. This is just one firm. Remember, there's a market which determines that price, right? And so that price is going to be determined from the market. This equilibrium price right here is going to sort of feed over to the firm and they are going to be able to sell as many units as they want at that price. So we can figure out what this price is. We see that our quantity is five. Well, we know that MC equals two Q. So two times five, that just tells us this price is 10. All I've done is I took the 5 that we got from setting MC equal to ATC and I plugged it into our equation for marginal cost. You could also do it with the average total cost if you plugged in a 5, so you could get 25 plus 25, that's 50, divided by 5 is 10. However, I like this one because it's fewer numbers to plug in. But either way you do it, you should get the same answer, and that's one way to check yourself. Now, since the firm price here is 10, I know that that's because the market price is 10. And the question asks, what is, the question asks, what will be the market price? Here we go. Now, just keep the causation straight in your head. The market price of 10 causes the firm to face this demand curve that's perfectly elastic at 10. However, with this math, we only knew the firm's numbers and then we could use that to infer what the market price was. The firm is not causing this market price. It's the other way around. The market is causing the firm price. Now, how many firms will there be in long run equilibrium? Well, each firm makes five. Well, how much does the market make? We have this demand curve. We know that P equals 100 minus 2Q. Well, we know that P is 10. So 10 equals 100 minus 2Q. Go ahead and rearrange this. Let's add 2Q to both sides. Subtract 10. And we get 2Q equals 90. So Q is 45. So we come down here and we know that this Q is 45. So the total output in the market is 45. The number of firms is going to equal big Q, the number of things produced in the market, divided by little q, the number produced by each firm. So we get 45 over 5, and that will give us 9. 
So there will be nine firms, the market price is 10, and each firm is producing five units of output. The other two practice problems are basically the same solution method, and I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions.